Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we found ourselves at the school board in Eastmont, Washington, with El Dope Dog as he attempts to, well, audit the place, which, why the hell would you want to audit the school board anyway? But hey, it doesn't really go too well for him, and he ends up, well, getting arrested for his uh, dumbassery. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So, it's another public o office. Eastmont School District 800 Eastmont Avenue. They got nice landscaping. There's no, uh, there's no, uh, blue flag, so let's see. Just in case you're wondering who the hell this guy is, this is El Dope Dog. Yeah, he's a real dopey individual from the Washington State area who likes to will audit anything and everything. He's not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer, and that's saying something among First Amendment auditors. In fact, I do believe that he is one of the more brain-dead of the lot. But at any rate, let's continue on and see why he gets arrested. Okay, we're going to do a First Amendment audit, see if they uh, respect our freedom. Let's see here. Film in public here. Ooh, yeah, no school here. No school, no school. No. And then um, the immunization that's in the state of Washington. Okay, so they even have done these monthly spoofing actually. Now we're going to have to move back. Okay, okay, yeah, there's a database that she can use for the no, I'm just going to take a look around. Okay. <laughs> Can I ask the purpose of the look around? Um, to check up on my public employees. You are a public employee, right? I am a public employee. Could I get your name? My name is Brandy. Brandy! Yeah. Good name, good name. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take a look around, make sure you guys are not uh, beating little children in the corner and that like oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. my goodness. You sound just like how Katie Kidman used to act around the school board. Yeah, and... Guess what happened to her? She uh, got trespassed numerous times and arrested and eventually uh, taken off of YouTube by the courts because of her stupidity. I'm sure that's where you're going with this, but let's continue on. I mean, how yeah. many children here in this office? So. Um, you guys got it like decked out, kind of like Halloween says. I like yeah. that. I like the, yeah. the holiday thing. Yeah. So I guess I've never really had anybody come and take pictures. So I guess I'm trying to figure out what the the end purpose of it is. The end purpose. Yeah. To know, yeah. to show to show the public how our employees perform their duties. To show the public as in who? Do you know who the public is? Well, I'm a public person. Right. I, I'm when a public when person when, when you're when you're off work. Right now, right, right, right now, work. right now, you're in the capacity of a public employee. Okay. Yeah. So you have a job to do. I'm trying to with you. I don't need no more help, thank that's you. That's okay, but I, I, I can't just let you walk around. I guess so. That's what I'm uncomfortable with. Do so I need a chain around my neck so you can drag me? I don't Kinky. I don't want to drag you anywhere. I just want to be able to assist you in the office and then help you be finished with it. And I don't know. You don't want to drag me, but you could if you would, right? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever drag anybody. You, I, you, I you could. That I'm trying you, to do you, could, you could go here and just leave me alone now. Uh, yeah, thank this you. This is actually where I'm at, so I appreciate Excuse it. Me. But uh, thank you. Please don't impede my movement, I'm my freedom of movement. You're impeding my <laughs> ability to talk to the people. If there's something I can directly help you with, I'd be happy to do that. Hi, how can I help? 
She's not nice. And, and you're an idiot who has no business there whatsoever. So, yeah, I can see it from her point of view. You're just being a nuisance, so you'd have to go. Many, many minutes later. The pla platform, do you know what that is? The media is going to see that. Now, would you like to... You're calling the cops. I, can't, I need it's to very my professional. Safe. Becky Berg, Berg? Superintendent. Superintendent. Keep my employees safe. My next step is to call. Oh, uh, because lockdown. the camera dangerous. You need, you need, you need, you need to keep your employees safe. She's gonna keep everybody safe by calling the police so they can come by with the men in white coats, say that so they can take you back to that mental institution that you escaped from because they really miss you. And tonight's meatloaf night, so they really want you back because they know how much you love their meatloaf. Hey, don't touch me. I'm not touching you, go. In fact, I'm just going to stick down here and uh, take a look at the you public employee. Anna Cortez. Okay, here. Oh, she's tripping. Tripping. Weapon. You know what is this detainment? You could go right there. It's what not you, detainment. Leave you me alone. Stairs. Go do your job. I am doing my job. I'm keeping my employees safe. You need to leave. Well, now, he certainly acts like he owns this building and can go anywhere he wants without being an employee of this place. So, let's go ahead and skip to the point where the cops show up and, well... Escort his sorry ass out the building and uh, wind up putting handcuffs on him. But he cuts it rather short before the officers even do that. But we do get to see them glove up and walk in behind him before uh, the camera shuts off. So there is that at least. Okay, so where's he at? Right here, right here. Oh, hi, how are you? Can, you can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, my name is Officer Cooper. My badge number is 095. I'm the school resource officer too, okay? What's your name? Uh, good citizen. <laughs> good citizen? Yeah, you may call me good citizen. Okay, good citizen. Uh, what's your reason to be here? Freedom of the press. Okay. Do, okay. You know what that, do you know what that is? I understand. Do these kind of people, are they asking you to leave? Freedom of the press? You don't okay. know what that means. Okay. If they're asking you to leave. I have to do something in order for them to ask me to leave. My camera cannot be it. Okay. Well, dude, you have no business there. You walk around restricted areas within after they ask you to leave. So, therefore, yeah, you're essentially trespassing at this point. And which is understandable why the officers arrest you for that. You don't seem to get it, do you? I mean, you can tell by the general way he carries himself and the way he talks that, well, his elevator doesn't exactly go to the top floor, which basically to me tells me that he's just emulating all the other frauders and what they say without truly understanding or having the ability to do any research. He's basically the measuring stick of, well, how low a fraud order can go in, in intelligence. I mean, you've got the Sean Paul Reyes's of the world who are pretty intelligent, and you've got this guy who's at the bottom of the ranks. But don't get me wrong, Sean Paul Reyes is no damn rocket scientist himself. In fact, he's insanely stupid a lot of times, but he's a lot smarter than this guy. Fifteen minutes later. Do you want to take me out to lunch? I can? Yeah, let's go. I can head that way? You can head to lunch. Are you sure? Are you sure? You may head to lunch. Okay. okay thank you. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Officer Knudsen, East Wenatchee Police. Badge number? Wendio 14. Wendio 14. All right. Thanks, buddy. Okay. So, we got four patrol hey, officers. Get right What's that? Well, she de she undetained me. I mean, you guys you guys don't see. I'm not trying to run away. I'm not. 
because you're not nice. You gotta respect my right. Yeah, right. I'm so nice. I'm super nice, dude. Those, uh, those, those are your feelings. But on. from my side, I don't see it that way. I see you being a little rude. This guy, he's being nice today. Thank you. She's very nice. Uh, that dude inside, he's not so nice. Not so nice. Uh-uh. Sorry. Yeah. What's he look like? Your officer? Oh. Yeah, the one that went inside, he's not very nice. You still don't like it? No. Okay. He's changing it right now. And you're the oh, I'm, am I breaking a law? Am I breaking a law? No. Well, it seems like you're not being a very good citizen. Why did you threaten me inside? I didn't threaten you. Yeah, you said, you you said let's, let's see what happens. Okay, now that's prior restraint, buddy. You know you can't do that, right? You can't block my camera. You can't block my camera. Why are you doing this? Well, am I free to go? Am I free to go? No. Oh, I'm not. Uh, no. Uh, wait, are you detaining we, me? We already told you you were detained. Yeah, and she told me. Okay. Well, our we were on there. the same page. I got here a little late. Our partner downstairs was trying to figure out what we were doing. Okay, so then I need to deal with the officer that's in charge, right? Okay. So, since she doesn't know that now she. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. Good. All right. Now, in the public, when you're out in the public, if I'm on somebody's private property, that's different. But in the public, I can record anything I see. Now, in a restricted door, let's say there's a door that's uh, locked. How am I going to get through the door? Kick it? No, I can't do that. Let's say uh, even a shut door, I won't even go in. I mean, there could be a private meeting inside or something. Are those hookers? Yeah. Yeah, they are. I had them a long time, about two years. Really? Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. Look like two years. yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, they they got some wear and tear on them, but I mean, yeah, I'm gonna be about. I have a red pair of them. Those look very uncomfortable. No, these are super comfortable. Are they? They're like Nike running shoes. Oh, Nike. Yeah, yeah that's what I need, like running or uh, well, those are running jogging. Shoes. Those are probably better than mine. Yeah, these are the most comfortable shoes I ever had. They're uh. They're super uh, expensive though. One hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, I think they're like about one, 130 on up. Yeah, yeah, they go to like 250. Yeah, they're, they're so comfy though. They are, they're super comfortable. I, dude, I got like 10 different pairs of shoes now. I pick these ones every time. Yeah. Yeah. I might have to get another pair. Some of the officers wear those. Um, but I haven't switched over yet. I just don't have 150 bucks. Hey, maybe you guys should move your vehicles or something. I wonder if these people could get out. You know, we have freedom of movement, unless I'm being detained or arrested. But yeah. so when I'm inside and a public employee blocks me like this and doesn't let me move, is that illegal? You bet you by golly, wow, it is. Um, so we just heard back from our partner. Right now you're under arrest for disorderly conduct. Disorderly. Yeah, so I'll explain it to you right after we put you in handcuffs. So you can put your phone over there. All right, all right. Hold on, let me just turn off. You have the frauditors who truly believe in the cause, or claim they do anyway, when they're probably just uh, putting on a show for their audiences for clicks and views. And then you have the simple-minded dopes who, well, follow the uh, big-time frauditors who really truly believe that they're doing the right thing because everybody else seems to be doing it. That kind of thing, you know. And this guy seems to be one of those. At the bottom ranks, with very low intelligence, very low social skills, and, well, he doesn't seem to understand much of anything beyond that. Uh, so these are the true victims of the uh, frauded or movement right here. People like this. People like El Dope Dog, who just don't have the mental capacity to understand that what they are doing tends to be the wrong side. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?